Boeing's been losing ground for years. Delays, gaps in its lineup, and one missed opportunity after another have left a hole right in the middle of the market. And Airbus took full advantage. But that might be about to change. Behind the scenes, Boeing is preparing a new jet unlike anything in its current catalog. It's not an upgrade. It's not a redesign. It's a clean sheet aircraft called the 797 and it could change the direction of commercial aviation. Quietly, this jet is being positioned to do what the 757 once did, but better, farther, and smarter. So why now? Why this model? And how exactly could the 797 turn Boeing's darkest chapter into a comeback story? You're about to find out. Boeing's biggest vulnerability today isn't just its delays. It's the hole between its narrow body and wide body jets. With the retirement of the 757 and aging 767s, there's no true middle market aircraft left in its lineup. Airlines needing a jet that seats 200 to 250 passengers over transatlantic distances have been forced to improvise. And while Boeing hesitated, Airbus moved fast. The A321XLR stepped in and filled the gap almost perfectly. This left Boeing without a serious answer. The 737 MAX can't reach far enough, and the 787 is too much airplane for many medium-range routes. That in-between segment, often called the middle of the market, has grown dramatically in the last decade. Airlines want fuel efficiency long range and flexibility without paying for wide body weight and maintenance. Boeing had a chance to lead this space, but years of internal chaos let it slip away. Now, with rising pressure from both customers and competitors, Boeing may be preparing its response. The NMA, unofficially known as the 797, is being shaped to reclaim this critical territory. It's not just about filling a market niche, it's about stopping the bleeding. If Boeing gets this right, the 797 could be the aircraft that restores confidence, closes the gap, and resets the balance in one of aviation's most competitive segments. The idea of the NMA isn't new. Boeing first floated the concept around 2015, calling it the new midsize airplane. It was envisioned as a twin aisle jet with the economics of a narrow body and the range of a wide body, a true replacement for the 757 and 767. At the time, airlines showed strong interest. There were even whispers of hundreds of potential orders before a design was finalized. But the project stalled. Boeing became consumed by the 737 MAX crisis the 777X delays, and mounting pressure from regulators. Internal focus shifted from innovation to survival. Key leadership changes and financial strain pushed the NMA off the table. What was once a bold leap forward turned into a quiet backburner project no one expected to return until now. What's changed is urgency. Airbus has made enormous gains with the A321XLR, locking in major customers that once relied on Boeing. Fleet planning cycles are restarting and airlines are demanding new options. Boeing can't afford to delay again. The NMA, or what insiders now call the 797, is back in the spotlight. And this time, the stakes are even higher. Unlike anything currently in Boeing's lineup, the 797 is expected to be a true clean sheet design. That means new fuselage dimensions, next gen materials, and a layout optimized from the start, not adapted from an older jet. Early reports suggest a twin aisle body with a lighter structure, possibly built around composite materials like carbon fiber, similar to the 787, but this time, Boeing is aiming for even more efficiency with less complexity. One major advantage is engine technology. The 797 would likely be powered by the latest generation of high-bypass turbofans, possibly 
from GE or Rolls-Royce. These engines promise better thrust-to-weight ratios, quieter operation, and most importantly, significantly lower fuel burn. Combined with a smaller, more aerodynamic body, the 797 could operate long-haul routes with single-aisle economics. For airlines, that means more flexibility and lower costs per seat. The cabin is also expected to reflect post-2020 passenger expectations. A wider interior than traditional narrow bodies, more space in economy, and better cabin pressure systems could make the 797 not just efficient, but comfortable. For airlines competing on long-range, mid-capacity routes, that matters. This isn't about luxury. It's about keeping passengers happy on 8- to 10-hour flights without needing a full wide-body crew or cost structure. The timing for the 797 couldn't be more critical. Global air travel is back on its feet, with long-haul routes experiencing a strong rebound driven by pent-up demand and fleet renewal cycles. Airlines are finally looking beyond survival and starting to think about long-term efficiency again. And in that process, many are finding that their current fleets have a glaring gap in the middle. Too large for a 737. Too costly for a 787 has already capitalized on that shift. The A321XLR is hitting exactly the right note with its long range and low fuel burn, and major airlines are lining up for deliveries. Boeing has nothing to match it. The 737 MAX 10 doesn't go far enough, and the 787-8 is too much plane for the job. That's left many carriers frustrated, especially those with transatlantic or high-density regional routes that need something in between. This is the opening Boeing has been waiting for. The 797, if launched soon, could arrive just in time to meet the next wave of demand in the 2030s. Airlines are placing large orders now, planning for the long term, and they're looking for aircraft that deliver performance without breaking their budgets. Boeing has a chance to re-enter this fight, but the window won't stay open forever. Launching the 797 isn't just a technical challenge, it's a reputational one. After years to dealing with setbacks, from 737 MAX grounding to 777X delays and production quality issues, Boeing's image has taken a serious hit. Many airlines have grown cautious, and regulators are no longer quick to approve. For the 797 to succeed, Boeing must prove it can build something new and do it right the first time. Certification will be one of the biggest hurdles. The FAA has tightened its oversight, and any new aircraft will be under intense scrutiny. Boeing can't afford missteps, rushed timelines, or internal disorganization. Building a clean sheet aircraft requires precision, transparency, and full alignment between engineering, manufacturing, and management. Something the company has struggled with in recent years. That's why the 797 isn't just another jet. It's a statement, a signal to the world that Boeing still knows how to lead, how to innovate, and how to deliver what the industry truly needs. If done right, this aircraft could repair trust not only with airlines and regulators, but with the flying public. But make no mistake, one more failure at this level could push Boeing even further behind. If Boeing gets the 797 right, the impact could be massive. It would finally give airlines a purpose-built jet for middle-distance, high-efficiency routes, something they've been requesting for over a decade. It could challenge the A321XLR directly, restore Boeing's position in key international markets, and reshape how airlines approach fleet planning. More importantly, it would prove that Boeing can still deliver innovation on its own terms, not just play catch-up. But if the 797th stumbles, the consequences will go far beyond a missed opportunity. Airbus would tighten its grip on the global market, 
particularly in the long-haul narrow-body space. Emerging manufacturers like Comac and Embraer could grow bolder, knowing Boeing is vulnerable. And the longer Boeing delays a response, the harder it will be to recover lost ground, especially as fleet transitions speed up and airlines lock into long-term aircraft strategies. So the stakes couldn't be higher. The 797 isn't just another program in development, it's Boeing's shot at redemption, a chance to reclaim leadership in a space it once owned. Airlines are watching, regulators are watching, passengers are watching. If the NMA becomes real, and if Boeing gets it right, this jet could rewrite the rules of commercial aviation for the next 30 years. But what do you think? Can the 797 really become the game changer Boeing needs? Or is it already too late to catch up? With Airbus surging ahead and airlines demanding answers, the next move could define the next decade of aviation. Let us know your take in the comments below. And if you enjoy deep dives into the future of flight, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. Because this story is just getting started.